So, Louis, good morning. Davy, good morning. This is to welcome Davy Wilson as the new manager, head coach of FC Bruno's Magpies. And we welcome them both this morning. Uh, first of all, Davy, you're pretty well known in Gibraltar football, so why choose, uh, why choose Bruno's? I am. Um I had actually decided that I maybe was going to take a little rest from uh, football, but after speaking to Louis and, and seeing the background of the club and seeing how well the club was run, and, you know, just in the, in the last few days we've had a, a couple of discussions and it's, it's already exciting, the prospect of the potential, the, the squad number, everything was, it's one of these chances that I'd be silly to miss, so I don't want him to pass up on this and allow someone else to take over your good club. So Louis, he didn't need much persuading then? Um, well, I put it down to my great persuading skill, actually. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, it seemed like a, a very good match once we once we sat down and talked for a little bit. It seemed that um, Gary and uh, Gary and um, Kenny, 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 and obviously Michael as well with David, I thought would be a uh, a pretty good pretty good addition to the whole team, really. And David, so what do you actually bring to the club? We know you, but what do you bring to the club? I actually think I bring my experience and my, my sort of ability to coach and I think my, my strongest point in my coaching is how I, can, I feel I can man manage and I feel that the players respond to, to what we give them um, and, and I think that for the way the club's future plans and the way the club's going to go forward, I think fit, for me the word with Gary when we sat down and discussed it was it fits, the, the club fits us, the, the style of football, you, the way you run your club fits us so we think we can be the extra 10-15% to take the club to where you want to take it. Sounds fantastic. Do you know the players? Have you had a chance to meet them? I sort of know a lot of the players that you brought up, especially over the last six months and you know the last four years watching players. If I'm brutally honest, I haven't seen a lot of my clients, but what I have seen is, especially this year and, and last year, it just shows that there's potential there. So, But I'm really looking forward to getting to know, get to know the players. It's okay seeing players and seeing their personalities from the sand, but on a coaching field, yeah, I'll get a real good feel for who the players are. You're a Premier League manager, really, and a national manager, so you're, you're stepping down to the second division. Do you know much about the second division? No, I, I don't, but I come from a, a football or a background of I'm a, you know, an ex-professional, but a real hard-level, non-league, top non-league football in the UK. I know what a battle is, I know what it's like to win and uh, win promotion, and I've been in promotion and relegation battles. Uh, none of them. None of them. <laughs> uh, and at, at a level that, that I consider slightly higher than Gibraltar, so I'm not saying that any part of this would be easy. I know the battle I'm going to face in the second division. Uh, I'm just hoping that the style that we can put forward to the players, the players buy into it, we can go and be really successful. And what is that style of play? But, uh, I always use it, and I use the word that I give too much away. Yeah, don't give too much away. Yeah, but I always talk about hard work. I, I come from a, a, a real hard upbringing in Scotland and, and youth professional football but it was about fitness and heart and, and for me that's what matters the most to my players. I want them to be super fit but play with heart and, and determination and I, I, I've always said that, I said that players know me in Gibraltar, I, I use the line every week is that hard work will beat talent but talent doesn't work hard. That's the background I come from. If you work Fantastic. hard you can always move. Louis, Louis, this will be well received by the fans. I assume, because being the best supported club in the second division and probably the first as well, um, this is going to be a popular appointment, isn't it? Yeah, well, I think, um, like I say, when, when we spoke with David, I just thought everyone I obviously had to ask a couple of well respected people around the club from a local scene what, what David was like, and uh, the response has been incredible, really. Um, it was almost like, you know, too good to be true, in the words, really. It's, um, Obviously, we had, we had we had a coach in place. It was going well. We unfortunately made a decision um, to part ways. And to be honest, Davy was the only candidate really that could do all the stuff that we want to go to the next level and achieve. Really. So it's straight into the uh, deep end. FC Olympique tomorrow. Top of the table clash. We've both got four points from two games. Um, will you be coaching from the sidelines? Yeah, it'll be it'll be like that. It'll be more blasting blasting the information to the players. Yeah, I get to meet the players in a, in a training session tonight. Uh, Kenny and Gary were involved uh, in a training session previously, yesterday or the day before. So, um, I'm, 
optimistic in what to expect. I'm hoping that the appointment will give the players that lift and, and not give Olympic that lift that they're going to get a chance to challenge us. But I, I'm, for me, the game tomorrow is, is a massive game because it is the two top teams, but it's still a long season to go. And I think for our players, if we see a part of what we're looking for over the next 13, 14 games, and they put that heart into the game tomorrow, we'll do well, definitely do well. Okay, Davey, good luck. Louis, thank you. And uh, we we'll hope everybody will join us tomorrow, Sunday, 6.30 for the uh, FC Bruno's Magpies versus FC Olympique. Thanks, guys. Thank, Thank you. you.